Hi everyone. So I don't normally go live from my account. I normally go through my Facebook groups, but I uh, thought I'd go live today again. Makes a change. Just so you can see what it's like here. I don't know if you, if you haven't um, gone on to my Facebook, but uh, onto my other ones, but you can see it's still. It's a lovely day here, it's been very lovely. Lots of people have been down here sunbathing, a few people leaving now, but uh, it's been a beautiful day. A few people have been in swimming. Yeah, it's just a really warm day, really nice. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's going to join me. There's, uh, Oh yes, we've got some people there. You can say hi, just let me know who's there. I can't see. Sun's so bright. Who's watching? Say hi. <laughs> just there. No, oh, you're not going to say hi. We're just going to... we got three of you there. Who's, uh, who's on watching? <laughs> so I can only see the screen. I can't see... Is there any comments? Anybody saying anything? No, nope, got to one. I got the two again. As you can see where I'm... Oh, Steve. Hi, Steve. How's it going? Yeah, we just had the police... Uh, do a little wander along the beach here. They've first uh, got everybody to throw their alcohol in the bins. Ones that were uh, alcohol in the beach. Because you've got to wear your mask on the beach and you're not allowed to drink alcohol by the looks of it. So, uh, yes, they're still here, the police actually. Are they? Still wandering around. But, uh, seems crazy that you can't have alcohol on the beach um, you know you can take food and drink of other sorts but what the difference is having a, a few cans of lager on the beach I don't, I don't know perhaps you've got some more chance of catching the virus if you've uh, if you're drinking alcohol rather than uh, water or ice juice so there's a piece up there still out of the car. I hope you can see them there. So, uh, yeah. It's the national police, not the local. The local police are just uh, driving by, but uh, I don't know who else is watching. Steve has made himself now. That you're down in hay, aren't you now, Steve? You're still down there. So the sign was showing 16 degrees, but it's no, it's not 16. It's warmer than that, a lot warmer. 20 the other day, and it felt slightly chilly. Well, this feels doesn't feel chilly at all. And that guy is still in the water up there. What's that? Loving hail. Oh, good. Oh, wait a minute. There's some more things coming up. Hi, Carl. I didn't see all this things going up here today. Hot day here today as well, yeah. And Carl, he's in Cornwall as well. Around the Snowstall area. So we've got two Cornish lads there watching. But yeah, there's um. If you can see there, he's... If I zoom in a bit. Oh, Clive's looking. Hi, Clive. Yeah, you can see somebody is in the sea up there. But there's been some people swimming. Yeah, it's, it's a really good day here again. Back to our normal sort of weather for this time of the year. We get a odd bad day or two, which I've put on here. I've put on my YouTube channel. But, um, yeah. Ah, oh, the police are going now. I came on because the police were, um, when am I back home? Uh, uh, yeah. When I haven't got a quarantine or, or pay for a hotel to come back and stay. That's when I'll be back. 
probably. And when I've when I've got a job here and earned some money for the season, so uh, yeah, I, it might not be this year, unfortunately. I'd like to come back this year, but uh, it might not be. I haven't managed to um, get back to Cornwall for well since November 2019 when I went back to see see my best mate Aubrey, and of course the family as well. But it's mainly to go back to see Aubrey. So I don't know if you know he he passed away in December 2019, not long. Just a couple of weeks after I saw him, so not very good, but uh, not very nice at all. He only just uh, took the early retirement in April, and uh, you know, so you just got to live each day as you can. But, uh, yeah, you can see it's quite nice here. We're over, oh, we'll be over in 2023. It's, it's, oh, Darren, hi, Darren. In Conway, it's freezing and raining and windy. Yeah. So I know in Cornwall, it's, um, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's hope things get back to normal soon. We need some sort of normality. You know, I mean, you know, you can see lots of people around here and, uh, and that, but it's all the bars and restaurants are all closed except for a takeaway. You can only get takeaways. But apparently, the restrictions have worked because they've halved the amount of people that's in hospital and um, they've halved uh, the amount of new cases. So, uh, who we got here now? Hi, oh, Dave Trantry and Fra Francis, old workmate. Well, and Dave's on workmate. How are you as well? And Carl, of course, from school and then work. But uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, you know, we're still uh, enjoying good weather here in Benidorm. We get the odd bad day or two, but uh, a bit chillier, that's all. Only a couple of days of rain in months. You know, and it doesn't last long. But uh, yeah. So one of the main reasons I came on was because of these guys. The police—they've been—they've been walking around the beach, um, getting everybody to get rid of their alcohol, and around the sides here behind me as well. Apparently, aren't there to have alcohol, drink alcohol in the streets or on the beach? Anything else is acceptable, but not alcohol. So I don't know why. I don't know of any problems that's been causing. But, uh, Somebody's savvy. Yeah. Way. Ooh, what else is there? Hoping, hoping to be there in September. Doubtful. No. I, who's that? This. Darren. Yes. Yeah. Well, I know. I think September. You should be right. Yeah. <laughs> shame to spill it. Yeah. It's all in the bin there. If you want any alcohol, <laughs> in the cans. I know one guy has put them, placed them in. Carefully, I think, waiting for the police to go and then go and get him back again. He wasn't going to waste the can up here. But uh, I can't see him actually. He's probably gone home. He's, he's, uh, uh, yeah, upset, chucking away his beer. So, but uh, yeah, no, I think September you'll be all right. I think, I think, uh, you know, from what I've, what we've heard here in the the Spanish side. They've just started making headways with uh, Greece about getting uh, people back to Greece. Greece, and I, I'm sure the Spanish government will be doing the same with uh, the British. Because I mean, seeing as they're so far ahead with the vaccines, you know, obviously there's going to be some some sort of uh, you know, I don't know what you'll need exactly, but I'm sure that you'll be back again. Then they're talking about the end of. June, July here in in Spain that uh, people will be allowed back in, even before then, you know. But uh, they're sort of saying maybe July, August without many restrictions, almost back to normal sort of thing. That's what they're saying. But then, you know, they say one thing and then do another. You know, 
so I don't know but uh, yeah anyway guys it was just a little quickie beef I know my battery's getting low so I'm gonna try and save a little bit just to let my dear wife know that I'm gonna be walking back up the road and I think she wants a few things in the shop so I'm just gonna get a reminder what she wants so is that uh, are we gonna need a visa to enter Spain um, no, I, I, I think you can you can come in for up to three months without having to get a visa. We've got on the Sh Shenagan or something, I think it is. I don't, I'm not sure now, but you no, know, you're allowed in for up to three months without a visa. You can come over. Um, you'll just need if you're going to stay longer than three months. Uh, well, you can get you can stay for six months in a year, but you're only allowed three months at a time. So you can come over for three months, go back for three months, and then come over again for three months. But if you stay any longer than that, you can apply for a visa, yeah. So, um, yeah, as far as I know, anyway, you don't need a, a visa other than for longer than three months. And at the moment, I s we've heard announcements that um, for those people trying to get back here, if you've got a, a, a property or you've got, you know, something over here, as long as you've got an NIE or a Padron, which you need an NIE anyway, if you've got your NIE, you don't need your residency papers to get back here. You can come back now, even if you're, uh, you know, you, you, you show proof that you own a property here. It doesn't got to be your main residence, but, you know, as, as long as you've got proof that uh, you own a property here or rent, you know, you've got a contract for rent, then you are allowed to use the NIE papers and come over. Yeah, that's with all of Europe, Steve, yeah. Yeah, all of Europe, uh, it includes, it's not just Spain, it's, uh, you know, once the UK Brexit, you know, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's like, you know, a lot of places that you only need a visa if you're over the, th the three months. As I was saying, if you've got a Padron or an NIE number, um, apparently with that and proof that uh, you know you you're paying rent for somewhere over here or you're buying somewhere or you bought somewhere then um, you can come over hi Andy Cook I've been uh, France so we got some French people here now or people in France what's that let's go to the UK let's go to UK here yeah that we should never left now well I, I I did manage to vote and I I managed to apply for a vote and I got an online vote and I, I applied to stay in you know it, it does seem a bit ridiculous uh, voting for to leave if you're in already abroad living or got place abroad it's made it so much difficult for a lot of people But um, again, that was all to do with the, the campaign and people weren't really told what uh, Brexit meant because they didn't understand what Brexit meant. Even the government didn't, I don't think. They didn't really look into it too much. You know, most people thought Brexit would... Um, thought Brexit would... Uh, hmm, got the police coming in now, there? Oops. Oh, telling the woman off. Oh, police in plain clothes car. She didn't have her mask on. Oh, so the police are in plain clothes vehicles there, look, with a blue light in the front. Yes, that woman uh, just been told off for not having her mask on. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, so they're in a. That's the first time I've seen the police in um, plain clothes cars, as I call it. Oh, I'm glad I got that on. Um, got that on uh, video live. <laughs> It'll be a good thing for my YouTube channel later. So yes, he was uh, told off, but uh, that's two lots of uh, police now that I got. Yeah. One for uh, when they were going around talking to people on the beach to not have alcohol, and uh, now that baby with the mask. So, oh well. Right guys, I'm going to make my way back. 
that uh, that sun is I mean it's still lovely and pleasant here I'm in shorts and t-shirt but um, you can feel the strength of the heat has gone from the sun now uh, I don't know what time it is yeah lots of confusion going on you see you're supposed to have your mask on the beach wear your mask as well although there was a guy just sitting here on his can and he he had his headphones on he couldn't hear anything and they they jumped down and she she pointed at the beers he, he put his mask on and they weren't worried about his mask actually he was more worried about the alcohol so but uh, yeah let's hope we can really get rid of this stupid uh confusion get rid of all the lot soon get back uh, to some sort of normality yeah. anyway guys Thanks for uh, joining in and uh, having a little chatter, trying to put the world to rights. I'll see you all again soon. And uh, for those on the YouTube, I'll catch you all. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and catch you all again in the next one. So bye for now.